Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hold for resolve if you're noticing Windows 10 has created an extra disk partition without your approval or permission and just did it automatically. So in order to remove that extra partition, this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process and we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. So while we're not actually going to remove a partition here because you really probably don't want to do that, when we say remove, we're really going to be hiding it. So in this tutorial, we're going to be hiding the extra partition here. So just make sure it's not a recovery partition because you probably want to just leave that alone. But if you don't want it to show up, like I said, in Disk Management or File Explorer, we're going to go through how to get rid of that. So we're going to start by opening up the Start menu. Just soft call on the Start button one time. Type in Windows PowerShell into the start menu search. Best match should come back with Windows PowerShell or should be one of the top results here. Don't know why it's not the first result here, but we're going to select the Windows PowerShell that's right above desktop app. We're going to right click on that and then we're going to left click on run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, you're going to go ahead and left click on yes. Now there's going to be a few commands we're going to run here. I should have them also in the description of my video. So we're going to go ahead and just start with the first command here. And just type in disk part, so D-I-S-K-P-A-R-T, all one word. So again, disk part, exactly as it appears on my screen. Hit enter on your keyboard. Once that's done here, we have entered the disk partition utility. And now you want to type in list volume and there should be a space in between list and volume. Hit enter on your keyboard. This should show all the lists here of all of the drives. So now if you want to hide a specific volume here, you just want to go ahead and type in select volume and then just type in whatever volume you want to hide. So again, this is really going to depend on what drive you're trying to hide here. Let's just say for so let's say we're trying to hide the D drive, so I'm just going to type in select volume D. Should be a space in between select and volume as well as the letter. Hit enter on your keyboard. Once you've selected that, you should type in remove space letter and then equals. And then type the letter again and then a colon. Exactly as appears on my screen here, so it should say remove letter equals D colon no spaces between letter and that end colon in here. Once you have it as it appears on my screen, you want to enter your keyboard. This should remove quote unquote the drive letter and then you just would type exit into this part to exit the this part utility and you just be able to close that out of the Windows PowerShell window at this time. So really no big deal. Like I said, we're really not removing anything. We're just really hiding it. So just to clarify that, and as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you guys out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.